The progressive is a person who refers, who favors rather progress or reform. Again, a person who favors progress or reform uh, in really in the political system. Progress, reform, change the system. That is what the majority, not all, but the majority of progressives want to change the system in America. Um, they believe that our current system is flawed. They believe that our founding principles are flawed and therefore think that we need a new constitution, a new set of amendments uh, because apparently times have changed as they say and uh, therefore we need a new system in place. Progressives um, want to, as Barack Obama said, fundamentally transform the United States of America. But as it turns out, progressivism uh, is a movement that has been going on for the past several decades. It's nothing new. Um, and there is an elaborate plan uh, going on to fundamentally transform the United States of America. And, you know, they they can't just come straight out and say, okay, we're changing our system. This is what we are now. Because the, the, the reaction from the public will be absolute chaos. Um, so they have to do it gradually, slowly and gradually transform the United States of America. And I basically have laid out a three-step plan. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible of how progressives slowly and gradually change America and change the system. How they fundamentally transform it it's um it, it's it's really really sad how uh how much we have changed step one government dependency the government um well they want you to be dependent on them they they need the people to be feeding out of their hands they need the people to believe that they cannot make it in life without the aid of the government. Um, so, therefore, they, they, they do specific things that will get the people dependent on them. One of those things is food stamps. Um, and this is the part where I, I say a little fact, so a warning to anyone who does not uh, necessarily like fact or like the truth. Uh, here comes one. Uh, under Clinton... The number of people on food stamps was 23 million under Bush, was 23.5 million, and currently under Obama, we have a whopping 39.5 million people on food stamps. Uh, that is a total of 16 million more people currently on food stamps under Obama than under President Bush. President Obama is is one of the biggest progressives of probably of all time in in our nation's history um, he he when when he said that he wants to fundamentally transform the United States of America that's progressivism he wants to change the system and he is following this plan food stamps are a a great way to get people uh, dependent on the government you know if, if you keep on giving out food stamps and food stamps the people say you know, hey, I'm getting a free ride. Let, let me uh, let me on board and let let me allow the government to uh, to provide for me in my life. It's like I don't know if you guys heard the story of uh, that person who uh, was on food stamps, and uh, she was also on, I believe, a bunch of government handouts and welfare and government aid, and um, she won the lottery. And uh, she won a, a jackpot, actually, a, a huge amount of money. I don't remember the exact amount. But even when she won this amount of money, she she refused to come off the government assistance. She refused to come off the government welfare and refused to give up on food stamps. Why? Because it's easy. I mean, it's it doesn't get much easier than getting free money from the government to live your life. Why wouldn't the people take it? She was dependent on the government. She needed the government to live, or so she thought. The government had her eating out of their hands. That is exactly what Barack Obama and the progressives want. 
welfare and handouts, as I as I uh, touched up upon a little bit, um, is another way that uh, they create government dependency. Thirty five percent is the number of Americans that are currently on some kind of welfare or government handout. Thirty five percent. Ready for another terrifying terrifying fact? Um, again, if you don't like these, turn this down here. Here comes a fact. 35% of Americans on welfare. If that number goes up to 50%, which over the next few years it is expected to do, if we have 50% of people on, on welfare and government handouts, we will officially be classified as a socialist country. We will be socialist. So government dependency in a way, in and of itself, can lead to a change in the system.